I recently redesigned my website using Squarespace and I thought it might be helpful for me to give a quick review and kind of overview of what to expect if you're kind of weighing your options about where to put your new portfolio or store. I picked Squarespace because it has a built-in store platform as well as a really nice easy to use content management system. So kind of think along the lines of WordPress except Squarespace is a little bit more integrated since it's a paid platform and everything's really designed to work really well together. So I'll just kind of quickly go through and start with the templates that are available. There's not a massive selection, but there's a pretty darn good one. And there's quite a few different layouts to choose from here, from massive images to really large collections of images that are a little bit more apt for portfolios or even some like the one I use called Avenue, which I thought was really good for a store. So I'm just going to check out a few of these right here so you can kind of see how these look as I go through them. And all these are totally customizable once you kind of dive in. They're really just kind of designed to give you a very brief overview of kind of like what to expect in terms of the base layout. Like this would be a great one for a store as you can kind of see right here. Really nice large images and all these designs also are responsive so they'll be really mobile friendly and look good on a wide variety of different devices which is getting more and more important. In general on the internet you can expect almost half your traffic to be mobile so it's really important to have a website that's quite friendly to that. So if I were to quickly just make this window smaller and then kind of shrink it down you can see it's responsive and it's automatically resizing now based on the size of my window right here. So it should look good no matter what scale you have this built at. This is a great one for like a design portfolio or photographers. And all these, of course, you can go in here. It has a nice section to write whatever you want, large images. Most of their themes are really, really well thought out, which is a big plus when you're trying to pick something. Right here, a giant image with a learn more button. You see this layout quite a bit on the internet now. Drop down menus. So as you can see, there's a huge variety in all these themes. And it's also important to note that all these themes are totally free and not paid. There's a lot of platforms out there that will have free themes and then ones that are paid especially when you get into like e-commerce like a big commerce or a Shopify where they'll have their basic themes that are free and then premium themes that you have to pay quite a bit more to actually get and use and although that's I think a fair business model it also really seems like they put a lot more effort into the paid themes and the free themes end up being not quite as special so with Squarespace with everything being free it seems like they put a lot of effort into everything they do so you can kind of just pick whatever you think works best for you without having to worry about shelling out a couple hundred dollars for a premium theme Here's the website that I built using Squarespace, and I'll toss a link in the description in case you want to check that out. But once you're logged in and you're viewing your own page, there's this little button down here where you can either edit the content of your page, edit the styles of your page, or this gear cog, which will bring up the overall Squarespace configuration, which I'll go over in a bit more depth in just a minute here. But what's really cool is how easy and fast it is to customize a particular page in Squarespace. So if I go right here and click the pencil for edit content, you can see I can edit the title. I could write text in here if I wanted to. And here's the part that makes Squarespace really impressive in comparison to something like a WordPress. There's these little tabs here, and they're basically little drop down menus for content. So if I click this tab, it brings up all the different things that I can very easily just drop right into my page. So I can just select an item from this various list of things right here, and let's say I want to add a map at the top. I can just click this button right here for a map, and as you can see, it automatically drops in this content block, and you can go ahead and change the details to be whatever you particularly want. And once you're done, just hit save, and it will go live on your website. I don't want to do that on my website, so I'm just going to cancel out of this but there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can pick from and it's really impressive just how feature rich this is. So you can go ahead and even enter in like a menu for, let's say you're building a restaurant thing and as you can see it already looks quite nice from the very get go and you can go ahead and change all the information right here you want and the design itself has a bunch of different options where you can have a classic menu or, or a multi-column menu. So that's kind of like the cool thing about Squarespace as a whole is it has all these little content blocks that are totally pre-built and are extremely easy to use. And once you're actually building to, like let's say I want this menu to be right next to the map, I can just drag and drop it, and as you can see, it automatically reformats to make that happen. I haven't yet worked with a different platform, and I've worked with a whole bunch of different content management system platforms before that works this fast and looks this good that quickly. It's super impressive to me. So I'm just going to cancel out of these because I don't want my website to have a menu or a map. But also, if you exit out of this mode here, you can go inside a product like this, for example, and you can hit edit styles. And this is where you can change stuff like the site title color, the hover color for links. If I click on this right here, you can change the button color. It's all visual, so you can just click whatever item you want to edit. And as you can see, it could change the category navigation color to be pretty much anything I wanted. And as you can see, it adjusts in real time. So it's really cool to see how easy it is to just go in here and make something happen. For example, when I was designing this website, I didn't sit down in one day and just do it all, but I think if I spent a really solid day here, I could have built almost everything here in, you know, roughly a day or so, maybe a little bit longer because of the amount of content I had to add, but it really is fast. And here's how the configuration works. You can just click add page at any time and you can select the kind of page that you want. 
And also something really cool to show here if you're in a band or something similar, you can create an album. And I'm gonna quickly drag this into not link so it doesn't go live on my website. But just you can name it whatever you want, hit save. And right here I could just drag and drop an image of the album art, put in all the info like album name, artist name, and then actually drag in tracks where it will automatically store and host all the songs. So that's really cool to see that kind of flexibility in a particular platform. It seems like Squarespace has really gone out of their way to really be good for a lot of different creative outlets. So music, art, food, it really has a wide variety of potential uses. And once again, as you're moving stuff around here, you can just very quickly drag and drop these items to have them reformat however you want when you select them. So you can just drag the content block and reorganize it that way. And once again, these little tabs right here, like this tab goes across the entire page versus this one will just go in this little half section. So if I click this one right here, you can go ahead and add in another element here. So I could add a menu or a calendar, for example, and I could just go ahead and pick something right here. And there you go, it very quickly populates it and puts it in there. And here's the store section in case you're interested in adding a store. I'm gonna discard these changes. Inside your store, there's the order page, donations, shipping, coupons, which are pretty simple. There's nothing crazy about the coupons, but here's the logic. You can do like any order for a discount, orders at least a certain value, certain categories, or just a specific product. And then you can do it either a flat discount in terms of dollars or percentage. The actual inventory works pretty simple where you can add in the different products. And once you click inside of this, you have everything you need from tags and categories to the brief description. You actually can upload and sell digital files if you pay for a little bit more expensive hosting pack on that. And then additional info. So it's really cool and very expandable. It isn't as feature rich as something like a big commerce in terms of how robust it is. And one of the primary downsides I would say about Squarespace is that you have to use Stripe as your payment processor. It doesn't actually have built in functionality for PayPal, which I think is kind of crazy. I think they must have some kind of agreement with Stripe. So that's uh, something to consider. You can add PayPal on your own at a later time through custom button, but it won't integrate with their inventory tracking. And for me doing digital products that have a download that just automatically happens when you buy, not having the PayPal integrated at the core really wouldn't help my customer because they would pay and not get an instant download back. So I ended up having to just use Stripe and nothing else. So that's a pretty basic and brief overview. And the top navigation right here, as you can see, whatever order you have these dragged is how it will appear on the actual website. So if you wanna change the navigation, you can flip all these around. And you can also place things and not linked if you don't want them to appear in your navigation and just drop links to them on different pages of your website. For example, in my products right here. If I go to the bottom, there's a product license page, which is in the not link section since I didn't want the license to appear in my top navigation here but it does have a page that you can have open up without being publicly displayed on top of your navigation. So really, it's up to you however you want to structure your website. It's super fast and easy to get in there and get going and creating. As far as the pricing of Squarespace, it is more expensive than let's say a WordPress hosting. Like WordPress as a platform is totally free. And then you just have to buy a domain and hosting for that WordPress, which is about $5 a month, you know, give or take. You can get a little bit cheaper if you buy longer term plans, as well as a domain, which Squarespace gives you a domain for free when you buy any of these particular hosting plans. So that's a little bit of a plus. I mean, domains usually cost between $5 and $10. So that's a nice little bonus gift. And it is cheaper, like it's $8 a month for a personal page, which is great for, let's say, if you're a designer looking to make a portfolio or something like that, versus... $10 a month if you wanna do it month to month. So I'd say if you intend to use this for a while, I would definitely pay the year in advance instead of doing the month to month because they do prorate your purchase if you cancel before that year is up. So if you really don't like it when you get in there, you can get your money back. And then of course a professional, which allows you to have a store of up to 20 items. So that's what I'm running on right now. So it's definitely not the cheapest out there, but in comparison to like a Shopify or Big Commerce, where you're gonna be spending around $30 a month to have a little bit more robust store, it's cheaper than that. And it's also a lot more easy to use and design. And in comparison, I've built stores in Big Commerce. It's a lot more in depth. It'll take you a lot more time to get some kind of up and running versus Squarespace. It's very straight and to the point. And also the checkout is amazing on Squarespace. It's much better than the Big Commerce one that I've used in the past. So that's a huge plus on their side. So if you wanna get a really great looking website up very quickly, and if you perhaps don't know how to code all that well on your own, it can be a very nice way to kind of get in there and work and actually get to creating. And I should also note too, you can go in and edit the CSS, like right here, I can go to custom CSS. You can go in and edit the CSS as you want. So this, I haven't done any custom CSS, so there's nothing in here, but if you're a developer and you wanna really get in there and dig deep, you can certainly do that as well. So this definitely gets a 
pretty huge thumbs up for me. I was extremely impressed with just how quickly I was able to get my website up and running and how good the overall themes are. And I should note, like, they're not paying me to do this or anything like that. It's just, I think Squarespace as a platform, especially for someone just looking to get something up that looks good, looks professional, and is responsive and mobile friendly very quickly out the gate. I think it's a very cool platform that has a lot going for it. And also as a little side note, it's important to know that Squarespace has probably the most amazing customer service I've ever dealt with. If you even mention Squarespace on Twitter, they'll probably go out of their way to just contact you if you have a question without even linking to them. So if you have any questions along the way, the Squarespace support should get in touch with you really quickly and really kind of help you get going. So definitely check this one out if you're looking for a platform and maybe you don't want to spend either a bunch of time on it, you don't want to deal with code, you don't want to deal with trying to find a good WordPress theme, get it going. You just want a whole bunch of variety that looks good and is very fast. Big thumbs up for me. Definitely check out Squarespace. If this video was helpful to you, please like and favorite. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I'll do my best to keep content coming for the designers out there that are looking for either tutorials or information like this. So thanks for watching. Thank you.